Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear brothers and sisters. It's great to be with you, mashallah, and an important season is coming upon us. That is the season of hungry hearts, the season of Ramadan. Um, you know, we should look at Ramadan as a season for the soul. And our theme for this year at ISPCC is hungry hearts. The idea being that we go into the month of Ramadan hungry for food and we leave the month hungry for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of the righteous people said in the past that someone who has tasted the true worship of God will never be saturated. There will constantly be this need um, for nourishment and constantly this a feeling of iftiqar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the impoverishment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for spiritual nourishment. So this is the time of year where we want to focus here at ISBCC on three really important themes. Underneath the major headline of Hungry Hearts, three areas. Number one, we want to taste worship and taste faith. Number two, we want to taste family. We want to taste family. Number three, we want to taste the community with our hearts. And this is what some of the scholars called maqam al You know, some of the scholars of the soul, if they said that this is the station of tasting, where the heart tastes. And the proof of that is the statement of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said, man al iman, who tasted the sweetness of faith, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Talatha, three types of people will taste halawat al-iman, the sweetness of faith. So here we see that iman, faith, has a sweetness, as does worship. And that's why the Prophet wasallam said the qurra of his ayn, the sweetness of his eye, the pleasure of his eye, meaning the most pleasurable thing to him is what it means actually, is salah. So the first third of the month, we want to dedicate to tasting faith and tasting worship. How to do that? Number one, number one is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open up our chests, open up our hearts to iman, to dilate our souls to guidance, to dilate our souls to guidance. When people use drugs, their eyes dilate. But when someone has a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says very beautifully in the Quran, أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ سَدْرَهُ Islam, The one who his or her heart was dilated for guidance. So just as those people are high with the illegal things. The believer is the one who experiences this relationship, this addiction to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the addiction to ibadah. So number one is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open up our hearts to faith. Number two is to look for faith in our daily lives. Each moment of our day, whether behind the computer, in the cubicle, um, with our children, on the bus, on the tee, at work, all of those are moments to experience faith, but we have to look. Treasure has to be searched for. So trying to see faith and Iman in the signs around us. You know, once there was a scholar, he used to go to the beach and he used to sit on at the sea and he used to look at all the beautiful things in the sea. Like, you know, um, the fish that would jump out of the sea, uh, the shells that you would find on the beach. You could see some of the coral reef maybe under the water. And someone asked that scholar, like, what are you doing? And he said, I'm making dhikr. SubhanAllah, although he wasn't saying anything, his tadabbur and his tafakkur fi khalqillah, his, you know, thinking about the creation of Allah and experiencing Allah through his creation. And that's why Imam al-Ghazali, radiallahu anhu, he relates this narration on behalf of the Prophet sallallahu which is a good narration mentioned by the scholars of hadith, that the Prophet said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to see his athar, on his servants, meaning that someone recognizes Allah's blessings in the world around them and they um, reciprocate those blessings to others. So finding Iman in our daily life, seeking opportunities to have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So just as we look at the sun, we say subhanAllah, we look at the stars, we say subhanAllah, we should, if our Iman is strong enough, if our spiritual uh, state is dilated enough, as I mentioned earlier, we'll have those subhanAllah moments on the basketball court in the mall, everywhere we go is an opportunity to experience Fabi The second is to taste ibadah, and the best way to taste worship is to increase it and to push ourselves. And, and, and not to push ourselves to the point that we're bored, 
That's not what I'm talking about. But to push ourselves, no matter how small the worship is, maybe I'm at school, I can't pray all Tarawi. Maybe I have to work, I can't pray all the Tarawi. Maybe I can't pray all my Sunnah because of my job or the kids or whatever. But that moment that I get to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as sweet to me as enjoying the sweetest bastila or the sweetest pudding or the sweetest apple pie. So Ibn Abbas, the great nephew of the Prophet sallallahu you know, he didn't read long surahs, he used to read short surahs, and he said he preferred to read short surahs, that he was able to have that meaning, that taste, that sweetness, right? So no matter what we're doing in our acts of worship, let's make sure that we try to force our heart to be in, 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 in the presence of that worship. What we call the, 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 the presence of the heart, the hadr of, uh, of the qalb. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is the month for that. You know, that's why we have so many things to do in this month of Ramadan. Because we constantly get the opportunity, get the opportunity to practice finding the sweetness of iman. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless all of you in this incredible month and bless us here to taste faith and to taste ibadah. Please make sure to stop by at any of the local masajid around you so that you can go to like the farmers markets of iman, because that's what they are during the month of Ramadan. Barakallahu fiikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.